everyone, this is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight Tarot here to do a special timeless reading for all signs. What does spirit want you to know at this time? What are your messages from your spirit guides? So I have the Zodiac Oracle here, so I'm just going to shuffle it up and we're going to pick the signs as they come, no particular order. So welcome in everybody, welcome, welcome. And uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy um, December, happy early Christmas. So this isn't intended for just December. This I intend this to be timeless, so whenever you see this. So we're just gonna take uh, how the signs come here. See what spirit wants you to know at this time. What are your spirit guide messages? And we have Scorpio first. So I'm gonna set those aside, just take from the top, no particular order. So we have Scorpio. Scorpio is first. So welcome everybody. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to pull about three, um, three of these cards. This is the spirit messages from uh, John Holland. I'll pull three and then I'll pull one tarot for each card. And I guess that's one of your messages here to give a little more meaning to the messages. So you can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. The decks I'm using, um, information on personal readings, social media links, lots and lots of stuff down there. So let's pull three tarot to go with each card. So let's clarify spirit, please. I don't know what these cards are yet, but I want to reveal them once I pull them all. And then we'll get a little more insight into each uh, message. So spirit, please. Please clarify a little more message, deeper message here for Scorpio, what their messages are. Thank you so much, what you want them to know at this time. All right, let's see what we have. So we have here, well, I guess my deck's upside down. Give back, today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So let's see to clarify the 10 of Wands. So this is about being overburdened. So if you, if you see people being overburdened, they need some help. Um, maybe you have been asking a lot of other people too. And maybe you don't realize that causes um, a lot of burden to other people. Um, or this could be, you know, if you see people in need, you see they're, you know, a little troubled, um, or they've helped you in troubled times, burdening times, it's time now to give back in some way. Okay, and we have here serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, mature, nurture, <laughs> And love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. And we have the Nine of Cups. So this is total happiness and joy, wish fulfillment in every single way. So, you know, don't let the past or negative energies from the past or even earlier today get in the way of your happiness and joy here because this is wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. So don't let anything be, come in the way of your happiness and joy. And we have light. Imagine yourself being as a being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. So everybody radiates their light outward that's the motto of my channel it's to shine your light so my motto was i shine my light my gifts onto you so that you may shine your light out to other people so then we have here the moon so the moon is about um the light of the moon so if you've been hiding your true light your true self from other people not really showing who you truly are maybe you feel embarrassed maybe you're shy because the moon can talk about, you know, not seeing clearly, secrets, being secretive, that kind of energy. I think now it's time to, because this does remind me of the sun, where everything is vibrant and you see everything clearly in the sun, but in the moon, eh, not so much. So 
if you're afraid to shine your light, if you if you're um, shy or if you're um, what's the word I'm looking for? You just don't feel comfortable doing that. I mean, Spirit wants you to get out of that energy and just don't be afraid to be who you are and to shine your light. What's a nice message, Scorpio? So those are your messages, Scorpio. So I hope those resonated for you. If they did, please do like, share, comment. Um, if you're new and you like my energy and how I read, please uh, subscribe. Hit the bell or you can check out my channel. I do all kind of readings so you don't miss out. Capricorn is next. So uh, Super Chat is open. If anybody would like to support me or the channel in any way, be greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's see. Thank you to everybody for being here, everybody who supported me in the channel, whether you're new or you subscribed or reached out for a reading or donated. PayPal link is below if you'd like to tip or donate in that way. All right, so what are the messages for Capricorn? Capricorn, spirit please, what do you want to tell Capricorn at this time? What are the messages for Capricorn? Oh. Okay. Let's clarify for our Capricorn. These messages, Spirit, for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? I am considering this timeless. So whenever you see this, you could see it today, tomorrow, a year from now. doesn't matter. I consider all the readings on my channel timeless, even though they're dated. That's just so people know which order I uploaded them. All right. So let's clarify here for Capricorn, Capricorn Spirit, please clarify for Capricorn. All right, let's see what we have for you. We have find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So it's about, you know, grounding yourself, you know, finding some time just for you to really, you know, get out of the hectic life, the, you know, hectic thoughts in your head, to really ground and center yourself. The Queen of Shields. So this is the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who, and that's your energy, king or queen, doesn't matter. Pentacle here is Earth, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, so that's your energy. So this is being stable and grounded, um, secure. So you do have that energy within you, and when you feel things are too hectic, you feel emotional, you feel like everything's a whirlwind, just remember who you are, your stability, your foundation, your basis, and just go and get some quiet time and find your center. Okay, and we have soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with your, with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So, and let's see what we have to clarify. It's the Eight of Swords. So, you know, this is mental entrapment, mental blockage. So this is just telling you, you know, don't get caught up too caught up in your head and in your thoughts. Just remember who you truly are. Look deep down in your soul. And, um, you know, being in any kind of mental entrapment is usually of your own doing and that you can overcome that by your own power, by your own soul power. And just de digging deep down within your heart and your soul and uh, letting that spirit outshine and outwit this mental entrapment that you can absolutely have the power to overcome any mental blockages here okay so we have dream talk your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams it's one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs symbols messages and more so if you've been dreaming a lot um or if you've been finding like weird things or you've been hearing the same songs the same numbers um, symbols, all kind of things like that. It's probably messages from spirit, messages from your past over loved ones, uh, ancestors, all that kind of energy to really pay attention to that. And we have the six of cups. So, and I had just said that. So this could be, you know, even energy coming over from the past life. If you've been dreaming about um, different times, um, 
like Celtic times or, you know, BC time. And you're like, why am I dreaming of this? You may have had a past life in that era. So the Six of Cups can talk about past life energy, things of the past. Maybe you're dreaming of the past when you were younger. Maybe it's telling you you need to reconnect from people uh, with people from the past if you haven't seen them in a long time. If you keep dreaming of them or, you know, people, places, things from your childhood. Definitely here could be that energy for some of you. So just know whatever dreams you're having, um, it's for a reason here. So it's either something from past lives or if you're dreaming of people from a long time ago you haven't seen in ages, maybe, you know, subconsciously spirits trying to tell you you need to reach out and maybe contact these people get back in touch with them all right capricorn so those were your messages so hope they resonated for you take what resonates everyone um only take what resonates throw away the rest or if it doesn't resonate now it may later down the road all right let's see who's next libra is next let's see what the spirit messages are for Libra, Libra, what does spirit want Libra to know at this time? Welcome everybody, I am considering this timeless, so whenever you see this, it could be now, next week, next year, doesn't matter, I'm not putting a date on this one, so this is timeless for Libra. What does spirit want Libra to know? So my intention also with this, if you didn't resonate with your monthly spirit messages, maybe something here will. So let's see, even if you get messages out of um, other signs readings or other signs in your chart, like your moon, your rising, um, your Venus, your Jupiter. All right. Or if you have one sign uh, more predominantly in your chart than any other sign, uh, that sign may resonate with you more than just your sun sign. All right. So I am Leo, but I prominently have four Leo placements in my chart. That's just crazy. So I know some people who are another fire sign and they mostly have air in their chart. So, you know, your sun sign doesn't really mean everything. And there is a link below if you want to get your full birth chart for um, Cafe Astrology. And it's free. You can get your full birth chart there. You need your uh, time of birth and place of birth. All right, so let's clarify here for Libra spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, what are the messages for Libra? We have, we just had this for Capricorn. Soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. And we have the high priestess. So, <laughs> wow. So some of you may be very, very intuitive here. You have a lot of that soul power, that um, listening to that gut, that intuition, that higher knowing, that feeling you get deep down in your soul. Some of you here could be highly, highly intuitive, very in tune and touch with that energy here. Some of you could be light workers. You could be tower readers. You could be healers of some kind. Wow. Strong energy. And I think I got that I think that did come out in your uh, monthly reading too so that definitely is a message for some and we and did we not did i just not say intuitive oh my god spirit really intuitive nudges intuition is the language of the soul we are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves the universe and to our divine spirit so we have the three of swords here. So this is about pain, hurt, endings, um, something very painful here. So, you know, if you get intuitive nudges on things and you think oh, maybe that's not good, a good choice for me, whatever it may be, whether it's, you know, going into a new job, a new relationship or moving or starting something new and you're like, mm, my intuition's telling me maybe it's not a good idea. I may end up getting hurt or it's not a good situation. I can just feel it. You could just feel that feeling of it, something's not right. Something could end up hurting me. Pay attention because your probably intuition is correct. So really pay attention to that. All right. So we have here just ask. There are many times. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. 
We are made up of this divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are, are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you ha have to do is ask for help and guidance. So again, that's spiritual energy there. Yeah, so when you're confused, well, <laughs> when you're confused, you don't know what to do. You don't know what direction to take. You, you know, you need, you have, you're having trouble seeing the light or following your intuition or really making a decision or a choice. Just ask, pray, meditate, really listen to your gut and your intuition. You have the high priestess power here. So I think you can overcome uh, illusions or confusion or any of that kind of energy too. And really paying attention to divine source here in your intuition. Wow. A lot of spiritual energy here for you, Libra, and that did come out in your monthly reading. So if you missed your monthly reading, if you're new, I'd say go find it on my channel because it was heavy energy like this in your uh, spirit messages for December. Wow, Libra. All right. So let's see who is next. Who is next in line? Who does spirit want to talk to next? Let's see who we have. We have Gemini. So let's see what does spirit want to tell gemini what's important for you to know at this time from spirit gemini let's see what we have for gemini from spirit what you need to know at this time spirit guide messages for gemini please thank you so much what are the messages for gemini let's get one more all right Welcome, Gemini. If everybody's new, uh, please check out my channel. You like what you see. You can like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do like four different readings a month. I do bonus readings, all kinds of stuff. So hit the bell. You won't miss out. And uh, thank you to everybody for your support. Welcome, everybody, for your new Super Chats open if you'd like to uh, support me in the channel. So we have light. So we're getting a lot of repeating cards here. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is time to remember how vibrant and how vibrant you truly are. This is all about shining your light, being truly who you are, shining your radiance onto other people, not being afraid to just be yourself. Because it will lead you here to total abundance, to having long-term faithful friends, family, lovers here. Total abundance, joy, growth, expansion for the long term here. So just being who you se yourself will lead you to like your the life that you want, your abundance, your happy home and family. Everything here. Wow. Rainbow. So there is a rainbow here. So good luck coming in for some of you if you're not married if you're single just be who you are we have here wow relationships <laughs> wow relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you are how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth exactly nine of wands so yeah if you've been through you know if you've been through it here with different relationships in your life you know, you feel battered up, you know, bruised, you know, you've been hurt by different people. But just know every relationship, everything you've gone through in your life was meant to be in your life for a reason. So this is, you know, gone through the ringer, you've been through it, you've, you know, so you've learned your lessons, you've, um, you know, you fought the hard battle. So just know that, that everything happens for a reason and really look deep into, you know, what the lessons were in those relationships. All right, so what do we have here? Receive, you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive, just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So this is being open to receive from other people, whether it's kind words, it's appreciation, it's love, it's, um, comfort whatever it is for you you know if you feel uncomfortable with like someone being affectionate with you or speaking kind words to you or complimenting you you know it's spirits like get over that you know and it's okay just to feel good about it and receive it <clears throat> so we have the seven of swords so yeah i feel like, like 
you feel you got to sneak away. Like if people come up to you and they want to hug you or they want to talk to you or they want to be nice to you or kind, it's like maybe you don't trust them if they're in that energy. Maybe you just kind of sneak away from them. It's like, I feel like you, you sneak, like you turn your back and you like you turn your back on uh, receiving attention and that kind of energy it makes you feel uncomfortable for some of you. But Spirit wants you to know it's okay to receive that energy as well as to give it. Because this Seven of Swords is kind of like that sneaking away kind of energy, you know. It's usually, this is an energy you can't trust, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting, you kind of like, oh no, they want to give me a hug and you run the other way, you know. <laughs> or maybe you can't really tell people how you feel. Like you can't tell them you love them or, you know, and things like that. And you don't receive like compliments well and affection and things like that. But Spirit wants you to receive that energy. So that may be a message for some. All right, Gemini. So I hope that resonated for you. If it did, please do uh, subscribe. Or you can just check out my channel. You like what you see. You can subscribe if you'd like to. Totally up to you. So let's see who is next. Who is next? Aries. Let's see what spirit wants to tell Aries at this time. What are the messages for Aries? What does spirit want to tell Aries at this time? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your support. It's truly appreciated. Welcome all new people. No, no, I'm feeling those two. What does spirit want to tell Aries at this time? All right, so let's get some clarifiers for Aries. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Um, how to reach out for personal reading, <clears throat> decks I'm using, social media, tons and tons of stuff down there. So let's clarify here for Aries, your messages. One more, thank you. All right, what do we have for Aries? We have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you and to prove they're with you at this time. So this is a special message for some who may have some that uh, family, friends who've passed over. If you feel like they've been around you or you're not sure if they're around you, just know, yes, they are. They're saying hello. They're sending you signs and symbols. So really pay attention to that. And they do love you and they're always with you. So they could be sending you like, like trinkets, um, coins. You could be seeing um, the same like insects, like butterflies, dragonflies, feathers, you know, things like that all the time, finding things like that all the time. And we have the um, Hierophant energy here with the Druids. So that's a very spiritual energy. So yeah, I do definitely feel like here, you know, you think of religion and you think of, you know, church. And, you know, when you go and you go to funerals and you go, you know, you go to church, you go to the, you know, cemetery, it's all, you know, that energy. So I do feel like definitely here that is just confirming that. All right. So what do we have here? We have self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matters from and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. So self-love, taking care of yourself, self-nurturing yourself. So this is a page of swords. So this can be, um, you know, honest communication. It can be, you know, taking that sword, you know, knowing your self-worth, self-value, self-love. You could take the sword to cut away things no longer serving you. Spirit wants you to know if you need to be, Open and honest with people. Tell them how you truly feel because that is self-respecting yourself, valuing yourself, setting up bound, healthy boundaries for yourself, that it's okay to stand up and use that sword to speak with truth, clarity, cut away things not longer serving you, you know, telling it like it is and very clear thinking. So Spirit wants you to know that it is okay to do that. Because you see the head being all enlightened there. So, okay, we have strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique, beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a conditional basis. 
you never you're never really alone as we're always with you so you know this is also about having that inner strength confidence willpower um, endurance uh, the willpower to hold back when you need to the strength to come forward when you need to and not only from within but um, also you know there's a strength of the spirit world around you also and we have the eight of wands so this is you know fast action communication traveling here so you know communication so you know finding your inner strength and willpower when you need to communicate and holding back maybe from saying things that you shouldn't you know because this can be a very fast-paced action so you know really think about have that inner strength within you to really think about things before you say them instead of just blurting it out and then maybe you may, may regret it later so that strength is all about you know taming the beast within from maybe coming forward too quickly before really thinking first so I think that's what spirit wants you to know. Okay, Aries. I hope that resonated for you. If it did, please do like the video, share, subscribe, or check out my channel, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. So let's see who's next. Who does spirit want to talk to next? Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you at this time for Aquarius. Aquarius, air sign, Aquarius. Your birthday's coming up, um, well, not till the end of January. All right, we just had Capricorn earlier, I think, was that the first sign? I think it was the first sign. No, it was the second sign. So happy early birthday, birthday to Capricorn, I forgot to mention that, so. All right, and happy early birthday to everybody. <laughs> Depending on when you see this, you may see it during the time of your birthday month, or you may not. All right. So what are the messages for Aquarius? What do you need to tell Aquarius at this time? I'm feeling like bam, bam, bam. Those three. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Aquarius. Let's clarify your messages, Aquarius. Please clarify these messages, even though I don't know what they are yet. But Spirit does, and I think that one. So we need two more, please. Thank you so much for Aquarius. Clarifying, see? No, one, two, exactly. Spirit knows. All right, we have, uh, again, really, wow. You saw me shuffle here. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. So somebody, again, I just got this for, uh, who's the sign I just did? Aries. So if some of you are related to an Aries and know an Aries, this could be like a double message. If you have like a, um, a family member who is an Aries and you just recently had someone pass away uh, or somebody close here that they are around you, they think of you, they're sending you signs, symbols, messages, uh, they love you, and uh, they want you to know that. And we have the Ten of Wands. So they want you to know also that whatever burdens that you're carrying, it could be in the way, it could be surrounding their passing, it could be um, they know you maybe you're going through something right now, and they want you to know to keep walking down that path, it's okay to lay the burdens down. Or whatever path you're going on, if it's burdensome and you don't feel like you're going to get there, Spirit wants you to know, or your past over loved ones want you to know, to keep on going, you're almost there. So different messages there, so I guess take that however it resonates for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we have Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time at this moment. They have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. And I'm also getting the message here, and I know my sister's an Aquarius. She just lost some um, very close um, dog of hers, and now we have Animal. And I had got that feeling when I got Hello from Heaven that I think even animals, past over animals, want you to know they're out around you. They love you. They could be sen sending you signs and symbols also. So let's see what we have here. Well, this is in reverse. So we have the lovers in reverse. Hmm. That's weird. 
I didn't know I had uh, cards in reverse here. So the lovers is, um, it's about, so this could be actually, you know, you're not together anymore because this is about soulmate union or people in together in unity. So obviously if someone's passed over, whether it was a person, an animal, you're not with them any longer because uh, this is about, you know, people coming together, being together in unity of some kind. So, yeah, so some of you, it could have been a lover. Some of you could have been um, just a family, friend, or pets here. And definitely did pass over and you're not with this person anymore. So definitely clarifying that. All right, and we have here cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. So some of you really need to take care here and uh, purge, emotional purge, cry if you need to, if you, especially if you lost something here. Uh, well, I don't want to say something, but a person or an animal. If you haven't cried, you need to do that. Um, spiritual cleansing. I don't know what that means. I guess get more in touch, get you know in touch with your spiritual side, and maybe some of you need to do a you know toxic cleansing for your physical body, maybe a detox or something like that. And we have the hierophant, um, no, the hermit energy here. So yeah, this is about you know going within, taking a deep look within. So some of you definitely need to take a deep look at you, your mind, your body, and your soul. What do you need to cleanse? You know, knowing exactly what you need to purge, what you need to cleanse, and then actually taking action on that. So Spirit wants you to know that at this time. Okay, <laughs> Aquarius, well, those were your messages, so I hope they resonated with you. Again, if they did, please do like the video and share, subscribe if you like to, all that great stuff. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Who's next? Taurus. What does spirit want to tell Taurus at this time? What does spirit want to tell Taurus at this time? And my candle went out. My candle went out. I just want to put a new candle in. I like to have all my candles burning. So sorry for a brief little pause while I relight a candle here. I had a feeling it wasn't going to last, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Okay, Taurus, what are the messages for Taurus at this time? Spirit, spirit, what are the spirit messages for Taurus? <laughs> what do you want to tell Taurus at this time, spirit, please? Thank you. Ooh, look at that, three. <laughs> they just like jumped right up in the air all together in a clump. Wow. All right, some important messages for you, Taurus. What does Spirit want to tell Taurus? Please clarify these messages for Taurus. That's too many. Clarifying for Taurus, please. Thank you so much. Please clarify these messages for Taurus. One. Tell me that one. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have for Taurus. We have self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and nurtures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. So all about self-love, self-care, self-value and worth, really nurturing and taking care of yourself, spending some time, quality time just on you, pampering yourself. In the three of one. So, you know, you could be waiting here for a period to venture out into something new. Maybe it's not the right time, so you're kind of patiently waiting. And just know while you're waiting for, because you see you have the uh, wand here with the buds, but there's no rose on it. So that rose is almost ready to bloom. And it could be once you set out on this journey and things bloom for you, you may be very, very busy, very, you know, active. So now may be the time to ground yourself, take care of yourself now, get yourself ready for this journey that you are about to take. Wow, that was, that was like a message. It just came out like, whoop. So, <laughs> all right. So we have just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, spirit, helpers 
who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. So if you're needing help, ask. Don't be afraid to ask. The Queen of Wands. So this is all about taking action. Very fiery, passionate, uh, go-getter kind of action. And But, you know, even though you may be a go-getter, you may be very passionate, you have a lot of drive, ambition, think you can just do this on your own. You know, I have my own ideas, goals, uh, creative energy. But if you feel you need help to help you along the way, don't be afraid to ask for others for help or be afraid to ask for help from spirit, divine energy to help guide and lead you along the way. All right, so let's see what the next one is here. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respect to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So let's see what we have with that. Is the Seven of Shields. So this is about being patient, you know, investing. Maybe you've invested a lot into relationships, certain people, and maybe they didn't really invest a lot back. You know, and you're kind of wondering, you know, why did I invest a lot in this person when they don't value invest a lot back to me? Because this is an energy of like assessing things, evaluating things, that kind of energy and like kind of patiently waiting. So it could be you invested in relationships and just didn't get the same and back in return and you waited and you waited and you're like, well, I, I don't know, they're just not, you know you know, giving the same value and worth back to me. So just know here, whatever you invested in relationships, you know, all relationships happen for a reason for you to learn lessons. So really think back on how you invested, what value you gave to other people and they are relationships and they just didn't give you the same back. You know, really look back, say, what did I give? What did I give too much of? What shouldn't I have done? Or what should I have done? And really think back and learn the lessons that you were meant to learn from those relationships. And I think that would bring you peace and harmony with all the um, white doves here. And it'll really, it'll really teach you on, you know, what you should or shouldn't invest into relationships in the future. So that's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Taurus. Wow. Alrighty. Some of these messages are really, uh, seem to be different like different sometimes they all sometimes when I do the monthlies I kind of all intertwine plus for monthlies I pull more I pull like three decks oracle decks with um three from each deck so that's like nine cards so these are little messages so I'm just using one deck so if you're not familiar with my spirit guide messages I do monthly ones for all the signs you can go on my channel find your uh playlist for your sign um I do generals I do love I do singles, I do spirit messages, I do all kind of bonus readings. So we have Cancer next. Cancer. So let's see what does spirit want to tell Cancer at this time. What does spirit want to tell Cancer at this time? What are the spirit guide messages for Cancer at this time? Thank you so much. All right. What does Cancer need to know at this time, Spirit? Thank you so much. One more. Okay. All right. Let's clarify, Spirit. Clarify these messages for Cancer, what they need to know. Let's give a little bit of a more deeper meaning for Cancer, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, please clarify for Cancer. Their message is spirit, please. Thank you so much. Two more. Wow. All right, I think I'm going to take that one. Telling me that one. And this one. All right, let's see what we have for Cancer. Cancer, what you need to know. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So this is telling you uh, to really value and appreciate if you have a strong bond with your father, if he's still here, to really truly appreciate and value that. Tell them how you feel. Spend quality time with them. They've passed over. 
I think they want you to know they're around you. They love you. They support you. Um, so don't forget that. We have the Ace of Swords. So this is a big epiphany moment. A big... Um, if some of you are disconnected from your father... It may be time now to, this is a sort of victory, success, uh, truth, clarity. Maybe time to have, it's you know also about big open communication conversations, speaking clearly, thinking clearly. So if you've been disconnected some with from your father, may, now may be the time, especially if they're towards the end of their life or they're getting older in age, to finally sit down and have this big um conversation with them that may need to happen based on truth truth clarity of the whole situation and this could lead to a bright brand new beginning with uh your father here so i think that's what spirit wants you to know or if they've passed over they want you to know that they're uh they had like a whole new lease on life whole new beginning of life they're happy they're uh, clear of any of anything that was going on in their life before they pass if they were sick if they were whatever here that they're free and clear of everything that held held them back or that held them down in the physical world that they're free of all that now in the um afterworld so i think that's what they want you to know so a lot of different messages there so take that however that resonates for you cancer all right so now we have wow relationships and wow so <laughs> relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth so here again with the peace harmony here with the dove so this could be relating to this uh, father issue for some of you if it was an issue within a relationship here so let's see what we have so the world. So this is about closing out chapters in a whole new chapter. So if you've been disconnected from your father or anyone, a relationship here, you may have to travel to see them. Spirit wants you to know maybe you should travel. If it's a short travel, long travel, whatever here, they live on the other side of the world. You know, this is about traveling. It's completion of cycles and new cycles beginning. So some relationships could have a whole new beginning, whole new cycle closing out old cycles or maybe you just really need to travel to go see um f uh, friends family whatever here you haven't seen in a very long time or to renew relationships here but just know every relationship in your life happens for a reason and if it's relationships that have closed out then it happened for a reason so just know there's lessons in that really think back on the lessons why it happened and it could be about new relationships here, too, also. Wow. Okay. And now we have soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. So needing some time for you. And we have the Merle, which is uh, the Hermit, which is about going into soul solitude, doing that deep soul searching work, you know, quiet time alone. The Hermit is someone who, you know, goes in, reflects, they spend time alone. So some of you really need to think about things in your life, think about um, situations, whatever here. It's time for you to deal, to really spend time alone. If you need to go on vacation, if you need to just stay in the house for a week, whatever. If you need to deal, deal. If you need to find solutions, find solutions. It's time now to do that inner soul searching work that needs to be done. Maybe you've been putting it off. It's now time to do that. I think that's what Spirit wants you to know. Wow, Cancer. Okay, so take them as how they resonate for you. Uh, maybe not every single message here uh, resonated. That's totally fine. Wow, okay. So let's see who Spirit wants to talk to next. Pisces. Water sign Pisces. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy this. I do consider this timeless. So, but my intention also is if you are subscribed and you watch your monthly um, spirit guide messages and it didn't resonate, maybe something here will. You can also watch uh, sign, other signs based on other um, placements in your chart. Messages there may also resonate for you. And there's a link 
below for Cafe Astrology, where you can get your full breath chart for free. You just need the place and time where you were born. So let's see, for Pisces, what does Spirit want Pisces to know at this time? For Pisces, please, thank you so much. Let's clarify this for Pisces. Three cards for Pisces. Spirit messages for Pisces at this time. One more shuffle, let's clarify for Pisces. All right, Pisces, welcome. Thank you everyone for your support. Super Chats open. If you'd like to support me or the channel, be greatly appreciated. Totally up to you. All right, Pisces, I'm thinking that one. What do we have for Pisces? What does spirit want you to know? Gratitude, life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what is in your life. Instead of comp complaining about what you don't have, if you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. So this is being grateful for everything that you had in your life or everything that you have in your life, whether it's good or bad, things that have passed, things that you have now. Everything happens for a reason, a season, a lesson. So just being grateful here for everything. And we have the King of Pentacles. King or Queen, doesn't matter. So this is being, being very stable, grounded, um, value, worth, um, structure, practical kind of energy. So it could be, you know, if you're financially set, <laughs> be grateful for that. Pentacles is all about monetary and material things. So if you're living comfortably, if you have everything you need, be grateful for that. You know, whatever stability you have in your life, be grateful for that, big or small. So be thankful for whatever comforts you have, whatever stability you have, whatever security you have. Be grateful for all that you have right now. And we have here choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. So this is all about the choices you make and really listen to your gut, your intuition about those choices that you make because ultimately every choice you make affects you good or bad in some way. And we have, now we got the king and queen of shields. Wow. So again, <laughs> with that stable energy being, you know, structured and stable and secure and, um, and that kind of energy. So being smart and practical also with the choices that you make whether about finances, career, whatever here, your stability, your foundation, your basis here. Just know to be very uh, analytical. Take your time with the choices you make. Be practical. Think things through clearly. You know, the pentacle energy is a very slow-moving energy. It's very smart. It's practical. It takes its time. It plans out very carefully kind of energy. So I think it's telling you to take that kind of energy and the choices that you make moving forward. Now we have the king and queen of pentacles here. Wow. So, and we have caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So, so it, whether or not you cared for somebody at the end of their life or you just care for somebody in need for a period of time or something like that, just always remember as much as you care for others to also take time for yourself also because a lot of times people, I hate to say it, a lot of people pass away before the ones they care for because they don't take care of themselves. And I'm not saying anyone's going to pass away, but that's just the energy of caregivers usually do not take care of themselves. Six of Wands, yeah, because they're always on the go here. Six of Wands is a very fiery, passionate energy. Someone who has a lot of driving ambition, very successful, um, victorious kind of energy, just full steam ahead here. You know, so you could be, you know, someone's very passionate and caring and giving who just is on the go, go, go all the time. It's very good at what you do. But this is telling you also here to always, always take care of yourself, take time for yourself also. Because you can't fill others' cups, others' hearts, if yours is empty. 
That's what I'm getting with that. So, well, Pisces. Well, I hope those resonated for you. If they did, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you choose to, if you do, thank you so much. All right, let's see who's next. Leo. Kind of excited about this. I'm a Leo, so let's see. But this is intended for you guys. So what does spirit... Ooh, this just kind of flew out with a clump. What does spirit want to tell Leo at this time? What does spirit want to tell Leo at this time? What do, does Leo need to know at this time from spirit? Please, thank you so much. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. If you knew we're returning... Welcome and thank you for coming back. You can check out my channel. Hopefully you like what you see. Check the description box. Tons of stuff down there. I know I'm just feeling that way. And we'll, yeah. Tons of stuff down there. Personal reading, social media, decks I'm using. All right. Super chat is open if anyone would like to support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Really, really does mean a lot to me. This channel would not grow and flourish without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. All right, so let's clarify these messages for Leo. Spirit, please. One, two, and three. All right. Let's see what we have for Leo. Love. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So this is all about you know, loving yourself, loving others, being open to love, accepting love, giving your love. You know, love surrounds everything here. And we have the fool. Some of you may be taking a new leap of faith here in love. Spirit wants you to know that maybe coming in for you, this is leaping right in here, uh, taking that leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine, resetting, restarting at zero. So some of you could be leaping in here to a new relationship, and it could be a love relationship here. Hmm, okay. Or if you've been contemplating about jumping in with somebody, they, you know, this is, <laughs> it's right here. Spirit's saying it's right here. We have study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time. It's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something real, totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So some people may need, and you see all the butterflies here for transformation. So maybe if there's something um, that you, you know, you kind of an expert on or you, you know, you think you know, I don't want to say know everything, but you, you know, you think you pretty much know what you know. You know, there's always more to learn and there's always a way to learn things in a new way also. Or it could be learning something new, totally new here to expand, broaden your horizons. And we have the lover say, uh, somebody studying somebody, a lover here. <laughs> this is, you know, again, soulmate union, lover here. So somebody could be studying you, keeping an eye on you. Or you could be keeping an eye on somebody here that you um, look at as a lover here. Hmm. Learning something new. It could be just about relationships. You know, looking back on how you um, were in past relationships and studying, you know, those relationships and how can I improve going into new relationships sort of kind of energy is what I'm getting. Hmm. Okay. And we have here, oh, hello from heaven again. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. So if anyone's had anyone recently passed over, they're around you, they're thinking of you, they love you, they're sending you signs and symbols, messages, songs, uh, little trinkets, whatever here. So just know they are around you. And we have shadow here, which is devil energy oh so this could be maybe it's someone you had a very very strong uh connection with um in some way maybe it was a bad relationship but now they want you to know you know they've passed over they're in a better place now and just know 
you know, you can release all that toxic energy that may have been around this person. They're at peace now. You know, then, it, you know, if they were somebody you were in, like, a bad relationship with, or maybe, you know, it could have been a close family member, friend, or something here, and maybe they were kind of toxic, but just know that they've passed on, they're in a better place, they're not like they were here on Earth. You can release all those maybe bad memories of toxic energy that may have been around them when they were in the physical form because they are around you and they do love you. They, I think they want to say they're sorry for any kind of negative energy or toxic energy. And they send you nothing but peace, love, and happiness. Wow. Okay. Wow. So I hope that's a message for some Leos. That definitely is not for me, but uh, <laughs> I hope that definitely was a message for some Leos out there. All right, so we have two signs left. Let's see who's next. We have Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, happy birthday. Let's see, and my nose is starting to run. That's really weird. Sagittarius is out there sick. They got a runny nose or something. That's really weird. Just started running out of the blue. Okay. <laughs> Somebody have a cold or allergies or something? All right. Okay, one, two, oh, that's too many. All right, what does Spirit want to tell Sagittarius at this time? Sagittarius at this time. What are the Spirit messages for Sagittarius? Thank you so much. What do they need to know at this time? Okay. Oh. I don't have any tissues here either. Okay, Sagittarius. What are your messages from spirit? What do they want to tell you at this time? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Please do like the video. If you're new, check out my channel. You can subscribe if you like to. Lots of stuff there. A lot of different readings. If you like what you see. All right. The Sagittarius. One more the Sagittarius. The cards are like going bonkers here. I like that one. All right, Sagittarius. We have animal kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that that will open your heart and soul. So, some of you, you know, may have pets or maybe um, connected to certain animals. I'm also getting to maybe some of you just had a pet recently pass away, maybe within the past year. They're around you. Um, if you had a close bond with them, they are around you. If you feel them around you, they definitely are around you. And we have the tower. Yeah, so the tower can be a breakdown, shake up, shake down. So yeah, some of you, um, maybe it was unexpected. You had a pet uh, pass over and it was very unexpected. Maybe you thought they were healthy and all of a sudden, boom, they just got sick. Or something like that and recently I'm saying maybe within the past year or it could be like now around this time because the tower is usually like now so that could be uh, for some of you here or maybe you know when you're going through troubling times you know your pets are very comforting to you you know sometimes pets are your best friends they listen to you when you're having a hard day and they comfort you and we have light imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. This is about being who you are, staying true to who you are, shining your light outward to other people and not being afraid to do that. It's like, let your light shine, just like I say on my channel in the Eight of Shields. So this is about um, putting in hard work, dedication, so this could have to do with work, you know, maybe really shine bright at what you do at your job, at, you know, in your career, in your field. And, you know, maybe you work hard and maybe you don't think other people see like your light and what you do, but I think they do. So this is telling you to keep, you know, doing what you're doing here. Whatever you're investing in, working hard at, not to give up, that there will be light here at the end of the tunnel. All right, so what else do we have here? Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So again, relationships, every single relationship you've had is 
for a reason to learn lessons. So what do we have here? The five of cups. Yeah. So, you know, if there's relationships where there's been sadness, has been loss, has been sorrow, you know, but there is, you know, two cups back here. So, you know, whatever you lost, there's always something to gain. And, and you may not see the rainbow. You may think it just ends where it ends, but no, it keeps going. It fills these other cups. So, you know, whatever ends, there's always something new and there's always new cups to be had. So, you know, you learn your lessons from your relationships, the sadness, the hard times, uh, the things you went through all happens for a reason for you to learn lessons and that new things can always come in. So I think that's what spirit wants you to know that you can regain your peace and your, um, happiness here. Okay. Wow. All right. So I hope that resonated for you, Sagittarius. So let's see. We got one sign left. One sign left. Who do we have? Virgo. Virgo. Let's make it a good one for Virgo. Virgo's last. What does spirit want to tell Virgo at this time? Virgo at this time. Virgo at this time. What does spirit want to tell Virgo? Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Check out the description box. Tons of stuff down there. Personal reading information. Social media. Decks I'm using. Wow. Okay. And uh, thank you for everybody for your support. Super chat is open. If anyone super chatted, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody for your support. All right. So let's see. Virgo. Please clarify these messages for Virgo spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay. What do we have for Virgo? Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's a long overdue. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself your soul permission to have fun. So some of you need to uh, let go, uh, let go, and go out and get some fun here. So this is again, you know, truth, clarity, you know. Cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for what you believe in, uh, speaking with truth and clarity, seeing clearly. So being victorious. So I think, you know, as analytical in, in the mind, you know, swords is all about the mind being analytical and overthinking. You know, it's time now just to lay down that sword and just to go out and have some fun. Stop overthinking things with the sword energy. I think, and this is always like divinely guided energy for me. So divine really wants you to know you need to go out and have some fun. Stop overthinking about everything, especially if you're going into a new beginning on something and you're overthinking, overthinking. Let's go out and let it go and have some fun. So we have ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We asked you at this point in time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So ancestral wisdom here with the Ten of Wands. So, you know, the Ten of Wands about laying down burdens, uh, heavy energy here. So it could be something in your ancestral lineage uh, here where there was a lot of burdens. Maybe you're, you know, still carrying a lot of burdens carried over, you know, from your ancestors, your lineage. Um, but they want you to know it's okay to lay down burdens no longer serving you. It's okay to end something if it's not fulfilling for you anymore. If it's just too much to carry, they want you to know it's okay to lay those burdens down. And then we have here, receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now is the time for you to learn how to graciously receive, just as with the ebb and flow of the tides. The art of giving and receiving is the natural law in order of the universe. So be open to receiving whatever it is and giving equally. The three swords. So, you know, if you've gone through uh, painful, hurtful things here, it's okay to receive guidance. It's okay to re receive help, love, care, nurturing kind of energy from other people who want to help you through um, hard times, through heartache, through pain. And maybe you feel uncomfortable with that or you feel self-conscious about that. But you know what? It's okay to reach out for help for assistance, for advice, for um, a shoulder to cry on. And it's okay to let people help you in that way too. 
through hard times is what I'm getting with that. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. So that's it, everybody. So again, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you're new, check it out. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, best of luck to everybody. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if anyone who's uh, super chatted, thank you so much. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.